Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Warcraft. So we are in Stormwind and we get to learn flying today, which is awesome. So we're just going back up here. We've been here before when we were at Stormwind, we checked it out. How are um, you? But basically Save we had travels. a quest that actually told what us to come I here anyways. And there you go, we can learn expert riding. And there you go. So now See if we soon. use our fancy mount, can I use it up here? I think you can, yeah, there you go. Uh, this mount can actually fly. We. And then you should have the the bonus on here, uh, 260. Yeah. Now if we go like this, um, this could be scary. But if we go like that, boom, we also have this flying. <laughs> now interesting, it says 217. And then what was with this guy? Oh, actually, yeah. Okay. No, we're good. I thought it was yeah. So 210. Oh, you know what? I think it's kind of glitched on the... Interesting. Oh, there you go. 260. Oh, you know what? It's probably not showing right. Okay. So if we go like this and then open it... 260. Okay, there you go. That's what I thought. Yeah, it was showing the, the wrong stats, I guess. Remember, that's an add-on. It's not Blizzard who made it. Uh, but basically, it was an updating properly, refreshing it, and that's why. So... Yeah, basically we got uh, 260 flying. So you know, remember before we were what about 210 um, mount. So we get another 50% uh, movement, basically, uh, speed. But we also can fly around. We can enjoy Stormwind itself. I can do my dailies a little easier down here, which I guess I should tackle those, huh? Get my dailies done. But we're gonna do a dungeon you? today anyway, so uh, we're queued up for that. Uh, I'm gonna just go grab these daily ones and work on them just cuz you know might as well get these done daily You get an achievement as well eventually you? if you do um, See you The the dailies basically you got to do like the five dailies and uh, You have to get lucky and get the five dailies. So you remember we got this one the last time we did this So there's I think maybe five or six uh, for an achievement, but you have to do all f all separate five or six of them, but unfortunately since I just got them again then that means I'm not going to earn that achievement anytime soon, obviously. So it's just random chance each day, I guess. And uh, unfortunately, I scored badly today on the random chance. So, yeah, we'll be back in a few anyways. Uh, I'll just putter around doing this. Uh, we'll wait for that dungeon queue and we'll be back. Literally seconds later. Oh, we're waiting for the tank. Hopefully he's a good tank. I don't mean like, you know, a new player or whatever, but good tanky. It's here. Oh, no. This will be a good one. Okay, so oh Yeah, we have a new talent we got last time. I didn't even play with it. So gain increase your range of all your attack abilities by three yards That's awesome. That's even um, melee I believe And you also learn moonkin form things like that thick hide reduce all damage taken by six percent frenzy regen is also good blah 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 and then 3% of your maximum health for 5 seconds, you're fully health injured, party raid. You also get all the things. We're definitely getting this one. I do not need those right now, but we'll, we'll ignore that. Oh, somebody brought a health stone, so... Yeah, we'll definitely ignore those for now and grab the quest here. Excellent. Sorry, I didn't grab that last time when uh, we dinged. Uh, I got excited about finishing that zone and everything else, so... Uh, and we got a whole bunch of other uh, forms, which I probably won't use, but I mean, it means I could still be a boomkin, like look like one, right? So, oh yeah, so this is the, uh, this is where I gotta figure out my AoE eventually. AoE is usually what you do for this kind of stuff. Actually, I should have probably hit this one and then the other one, but. There you go. So we'll probably get pretty good E. I I don't actually know how the, the XP is these days on this. Just be hitting that one first, then using this. I guess each one dies, you know, and it has the uh, the thing on them. I guess it, it's good amount of reset, huh? I just realized that, huh? That's kind of cool. It's actually a really strong ability. The only downside is I don't have it set to the right, uh, I need to find a better way to deal with this. I mean, I could always do it this way, but then obviously I have the problem of, uh, I have to go over a lot more. Oh, I'm gonna definitely close that. Sorry. Work email. Had it open and it likes to make a lot of noise when, uh, you got something coming in. 
I wonder, maybe I should put it over here for now. Let's do it that way. I don't think that's a good spot, actually. <laughs> it's going to be one of those things I'll have to, uh, you know, figure out in the long run, and I'll, I'll come up with a solution, but... Uh, I just like how you can get the cooldown so often. So look at all the objectives here. Isn't that insane? This might be one of the biggest dungeons too, if I think think about it. So might be here for a bit. I'll probably attempt to do the random dungeons from time to time, but I, I won't guarantee you will always get the same one. That being said, I might not redo or record the same one multiple times, unless it's sometimes past or maybe we're doing a different version of it, like a heroic version, which that's not in the Vildal. That doesn't happen to like the Outlands, I believe, but um, yeah. Oh, that guy's uh, a rare, like a rare boss kind of thing, I think. I don't I don't know if he's considered a rare boss at that point. I guess he probably would be. No, I guess not. Just a rare. Stunned. This is a pretty good GURP though. So when I do dungeons, I might not talk as much, just because it does take a bit more brain power, especially when I'm trying to do my uh, my, my certain buttons here a bit better. <laughs> if you want to leave feedback, feel free. You know, some of these videos are kind of pre-recorded ahead of time, obviously, uh, especially with a, a series this this large in nature. You know, I am trying to post two a day, so you know I'm being pretty fair there, but uh, um, things might not always be quite in sync, so. But still, advice is advice, right? If I learn it now or I learn it down the road, you know, so. And not only that, you're helping new players as well and other players. It's not even new players. I mean, a player who played this game for 15, 16 years, whatever it is now, since it, it came out the day, you know, my friend Andrew and I, you know, lined up and bought the game and stuff like that, you know, so. I just felt like doing that. Oh, this is actually a boss, I think. <laughs> I was like, for some reason, this one's taking a lot longer than uh, the rest of them. So I was kind of a noob. I should have put my one ability on him, but whatever. Rip. Is he in rage? Frenzy. No, oh, just frenzy. Which is, I think, the same thing as enrage, isn't it? Or is enrage like. Does enrage only happen near the end of the boss, or can they enrage any time? So there you go. So for the quest, we've gotten one of the heads anyways. The EXP isn't anything insane. That being said, I think when you complete it, that's where the EXP comes from. But even then, I think it said like 20,000 something, and it looks like we take 40,000 a level. So really, when you think about it, not a lot, uh, but it's still, you know.
Powerful mojo. Oh, that's worth something too, huh? Now, was there an ability? No, there isn't. I don't get that yet. I think later on, I have an ability that actually can make it this a lot better. So basically, when I'm doing this thing, instead I have one that lets me basically put all my points into one that basically gives you, like, better speed or something after a while. Or at least I used to. Maybe that's a talent now. But basically, that might be not a bad idea for something like this, right? Because where, you know, it's not worth, you know, wasting it on one target, you know. I need something that can overall increase my, you know, use my combo points because I just don't feel like it's worth it right now, you know what I mean? But I do think there is something later on like that. I just don't know what it's called. Savage War, there it is. So, finish move increases damage by 15% and energy regeneration by 10% while the cat lasts, blah, blah, blah. It lasts 36 seconds on that thing. So, basically, that's sort of the way you go with that. Oh, yeah, we got another PvP talent, so we just go through here. So, it's like, yay, that's done. Right, right? Oh, no, I've actually unlocked a new PvP talent. Oh. My mistake. So, we... What do we want to get? Strength. So, uh, you'll also learn blah, 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 mall. Uh, caster, passive. Okay, salvage and trap spells with skull bash reducing, blah, blah, blah. Instantly apply rake and rip. Um, rake has 100% critical strike chance. I liked that one before. I think I'd do that one. Yeah. That's for PvP only, by the way, like battlegrounds and if you mark yourself for PvP and stuff like that. So it's kind of useless right now. Pretty powerful, I guess, in some ways, too, though, if you, you do uh, mark yourself for PvP, because then when you're leveling in these zones, you do get those abilities. You also get, like, 25% uh, extra EXP uh, for being Alliance. Uh, I believe that's everywhere in North America. I don't know about the European servers, uh, if Alliance is that uh, unbalanced, but basically what it means is that there's basically... I, I don't know the math for that, but in a sense, you could say that, uh, you know... If there's a pie, right? Uh, well, how would I do this? So I, I need a larger number, but a lot more players play basically hard than Alliance. So um, I wouldn't say there's 25% more because I don't know how the math works on that. But yeah, there's they do have a percentage more. Could even be 15% more because I think Horde get 10% at least, right? So I'll say remove that bonus from them. I don't know. Look at that. Some auction stuff found its way. So, yeah, we, we're poor again. 690. And then the next one I said is going to be like, I forget what it was. It was like 4,000, wasn't it? Or 4,500, something like that. guy's a machine he's just, he knows what he wants in life that's for sure look at all that he's only wearing heirloom i'm the noob not wearing heirloom but that's fine that's me and that's how i choose to play and you can bot it if you hate it <laughs> go. and then we're gonna have to reapply our aoe here in a second before they all The OE is for the rip, right? The one rip, so like I can keep, you know. There you go. I don't know why I do that. Oh! I thought he was kind of special. I guess he really wasn't special. This guy, I think, is special, though. So we'll, we'll actually put our proper rip on him this time. We're supposed to. I mean, that's just pretty good. 696 damage over 24 seconds. So, where, you know, this finishing move is only 334. So, basically, double the damage on that rip, right? So, when that gets halfway, you've already at least done better on that, right? So. 
Oh, I should have. I should put my Tiger Fury when I do that, but whatever. Because obviously you do a lot more damage, but. Eh. This guy's one of our objectives too, which is great. And we have one after this, so. Now this used to get extra damage if there was a, a rip up or consumers, yeah. That might be a, a feature later on, talent, something like that. Might not even exist anymore, but I think if you had like a, you know, the, the rip up or whatever. Oh no, that's what it was. It wasn't it would extend it maybe by five seconds or up to five seconds, I think. White. Careful. I'm so confused because I'm not paying attention enough when I'm doing that. I'm just supposed to be DPS. Sure I'm gonna get boned here in a second. I got on. They own for me all of a sudden. It's because what happens is he's getting um, one guy aggroed it, and then the uh, obviously the tank went upstairs, and that didn't work so well. But what was happening is um, he gets um, this effect put on him, and then what happens is when that happens, then they go and attack uh, somebody else because they're, he's charmed, right? So he doesn't want to attack them anymore. I'm actually amazed the one person left. That's not really normal. Do they recarnate or re release? No, he's not doing so well. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to go up, walk through here. I fell in here. Was that like on purpose or accidental? <laughs> I think he took the long way. I accidentally fell and that was a shortcut. And yeah, that was badass. But yeah, I think it was the totems that might have been the charming. So I have to keep an eye on that because that could have been what was uh, causing all the charming. And off the I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to pause you guys. Phone. Oh, 
Thought I unmuted myself there. So hopefully that wasn't too distracting. So basically, uh, yeah, we're uh, redoing our community. Well, not redoing, but we're adding internet to the community center. So we're adding like access points and we're going to do a 60 gigahertz because uh, we're a wireless uh, ISP. So we, we have fiber coming into town and then we wireless it around the town. So uh, we're going to do a, a 60 gig uh, <laughs> wireless hop right across the street. Literally, it's going to be like, uh, you know, probably like what like you know not even a half a kilometer uh, but uh, anyways yeah it'll be a you know pretty awesome for that and then we're gonna run I, I don't know if we're gonna run fiber I, it sounds like they might not run fiber now we'll see but uh, we'll run a line uh, from one side of the community center to the other they got a marina and you know all that and the, the library and things like that so we're gonna hook them all up get them what they need and uh, basically you know Make our make our community center a little more uh, up and ready for the you know future. So they'll they'll have working internet and can go there for internet and access point and all that. And we'll even give uh, they they've got a little skateboarder little thing at the back of the building. We're gonna give them internet and basically it's gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So so we're just uh, planning that. But it's it's <laughs> well when you think about it, it's on almost near uh, the end of October and. Uh, um, you know, we're starting to do this and we already have snow outside and stuff like that because I'm in northern Canada, right? So, um, yeah, we, we basically have, you know, our, our season start a month early kind of and or sh I shouldn't say start. Okay, our winter season starts a month early and our winter season ends a month early. So everything else is a lot smaller in there. Um, but I love it here, so... Yeah. I think we're probably oh there's some wolves and stuff yet we have to kill I think right and then yeah and then he's the final boss the I think he's like an uh, the org or whatever so I have to go give some measurements and so I'll do that right after obviously so uh critical strike yeah, I'll wear it it's just it's a new e a new item. I just feel good about it, so I'll just wear it. Oh, you get a pet there too. Yeah, I already have one. He drops the pet like 100% of the time. There might be a secondary pet. I don't know if we're gonna be. I think we will. So if we we do it, which I think we might. There's a uh, we just leveled awesome. Um, there's uh, also uh, a wolf pet. I think you can get in this dungeon as well. Actually, I don't know if the pet is 100% of the time. No, it looks like everyone got it pretty much, so. So what you can do is when it's it's sold down like that and you can't do anything, if it's worth anything on the market, uh, what you can do is you can go to your pet thing and... Uh, oh, I was kind of grouping up here. There you go. What you can do is go to your uh, pet window and you can box up some pets. And then you can throw them onto the auction house and then sell it. And then, you know, claim that pet basically that you just got. So, I don't know if that's even worth anything. No. Oh, make sure you do this so that way when they die. Yeah. And then you just keep spamming the two, right? Ah, <laughs> that's actually pretty badass.
Oh yeah, here's uh, the wolves. Yeah, that talent is actually a very powerful talent. I don't know end game if that's considered powerful or not, but you know, for raiding and people always count by bosses anyways. But I mean, trash and uh, is very important for lower level dungeons or even high level dungeons. I mean, people just want to get through the content quicker, right? So, but I think damage and stuff starts to be a little bit more evened out too. So like when you're doing higher level stuff, you might not be, for example, like. You know, the mobs won't lose their health from the same, like, they'll be more even, so they all die around the same time, so, and of course you might not get, you know, as much of a bonus of whacking your thing, right? So, it's not a dirty, I know. Let's do it again. That one, refresh it. We just got the Quartermaster. We good? I think we're good. We'll finish this one. We don't need the extra rod here. Okay. I think he's annoying for some reason. I'm just trying to figure out what he's doing. Is he doing like a fear or something? Or does he do some other weird attack? I don't know. I just know some people are running like crazy here. I'm just too focused on my buttons here. I was like, what's going on over here? We got him. Oh, he's the one who drops it. He's the handler, so I guess he ah, that makes sense. There's actual actual wargans themselves that are coming up after this part, I think, on the left here. And uh, there's two of them. There's like a, a mommy and a daddy one. I don't know. There's just like I think a white one and a black one. Or no, no, maybe that was that other room. Oh, never mind. Maybe that was the one. I don't know. I thought that was what the case. Wasn't there this one and then one over there? Or maybe it was always just the working keeper, I guess. By the way, if you open up this... Uh, oh, actually, maps now. You don't actually have to do that. You have to open up the maps. You can click this, I think. Doesn't it? No? I was supposed to show you uh, the drops now. Well, you can do this uh, adventures guide as well and go through them. So here's this one. And you can look at the loot. So you can see what that loot... So the quartermaster here. There you go. So that was the worgen one. There's the spider one, so then you can kind of... Oh, yeah, there is two of them. There is two of them. I'm not crazy. And then this guy is the last guy, the overlord, which we're going to kick his ass soon. Unfortunately, that's not agility. It'd be nice to agility stuff. Oh, that's probably what it is. I think when you kill that one, this one comes out. So maybe that was the mama and this is the papa? I don't know. <laughs> Just guessing. That is actually some nice boots. Those are an upgrade to me, so awesome. Now I'm going to be careful. Um, right now we're only 31. We're not going to get to 49 anytime yet. But uh, remember, we got a cap at 49. If we screw up and we go past that, that's it. We've destroyed our entire series accidentally. So. Definitely uh, no dungeons near the uh, 40, uh, like the 40, you know, 8, 49 mark. You know, literally just like uh, even at 47, don't even do them. At that point, just do regular leveling and don't take the chance, you know. Because you get a lot of EXP at the end, so. There you go. Let's replace that. I think we're good. Somebody aggroed something. I'm going to guess it wasn't me, though. Oh, I don't have. 
have my oops, I'm gonna get my cooldown because I didn't reapply my uh, thing there. There you go. What a bad tank. Aggro in these guys. <laughs> Probably best because I doubt everyone else would have made the good uh, decision of missing it. So. It might have actually done it. That's another thing about being stealth that's nice, like, for confidence reasons, like when people do shortcuts and, you know, like, my druid moves fast, obviously, in the dungeons. That's one thing that's good. Um, when it comes to, like, you know, even, like, confident boosters of, oh, you know, they're taking shortcuts here and there and it's a little ishy, iffy and it's so close and you kind of get a little worried and nervous and whatever. Well, I don't have to worry about that because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to aggro them, right, accidentally. But... You know, if you're playing a character that doesn't have good speed and movement, so they, you know, they, they, the other character gets a little ahead of you, and, you know, it's just, it can get very nervous. A little bit of anxiety. That's probably more me than most people, but still. I should apply my. Oh, whatever. There you go. We're getting there. Almost there, my friends, and we'll be kicking his ass. Well, I'm trying to target somebody else, I think. That's not here. I kind of do some measurements, and if it's locked, oh, I guess I could do it from outside. Let's measure the whole outside of the building from one side to the other. <laughs> uh. Boss fights. Right now, I'm pretty slow at those, but... Then again, everyone is, technically. I mean, compared to, like, fighting... Well, actually, not all classes are, you know, have okay, uh, you know, AoE even at times. But I guess my point is that, uh, you know, like, compared to AoE, you know, you're obviously going to be a little bit more slower on it. But, um... Yeah, is it him who keeps spewing at, like, an AoE or something? I'm not sure what he's doing. Look at all that EXP we got, that's awesome. Okay. Not bad. So what did we get? Like a level and a half during that time? Oh, I like those. I'll wear those. And we got a, a little loot bag here, which usually sucks. Oh, that one's an upgrade. And we'll get a trinket with haste. Uh, your melee attacks have chances of bathe the target with flames of blah, blah, blah. That is awesome. Look at that. And uh, it looks like that's pretty much it. So that, that was actually really worth it. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
can we do this? Teleport out? Okay, let's try it anyways. I, if everyone leaves, I'm screwed. We gotta teleport out and teleport in. There's one left, thankfully. There you go. You gotta come back to the entrance. I almost forgot to do this, right? So this was our... Uh, oh, Kings. There was other quests for this? Or was this... Oh, no, that was for uh, the ones we were doing there. Um, so we got this one and this one. So there you go. And then I'm gonna leave. Sorry, buddy. And then we'll get ported out and back to where we were. So we actually got another upgrade there from the uh, the quest item there. And there we go. So where is that going? Is that the chest piece? Yeah, there you go. Cool. Now I gotta just collect some apples. You know what? We'll do this together quickly, the apple ones at least. Uh, the only reason I say that is going to be a ding here, basically. And, well, we do dings together, don't we? So, so, so. Well, there's this cute couple again. Okay, and then we need more apple trees. More apple trees. Not enough apple trees. Three more juicy apples. You have three more juicy apples here? That's a juicy apple, buddy. A. Oh, here's another apple tree. I'm starting to not look on the map, but rather look at the trees up the air and just like, which one has red on them? And you notice I'm able to do that in flying mode, which is awesome. That being said, sometimes you'd have to actually land. Like, if I want to do herbs, you can't do it floating in the air. You have to land on the ground to do the herbs. But the point still stands that it's it's much, much easier than having to dismount mount. And even if we did, I mean, we our, our mounting is instant, right? So. Hey there. Be careful. And ding. So what did we earn? Survival instincts. Now here's the question. What did we earn before when we dinged? I don't know because, yeah, too much happened since then. So we, d love, we dinged before and I don't know what we got. But survival instincts, what's that? Reduces all damage taken by 50%. So that's actually a nice one. That goes with this guy here, basically. Now I don't know what we earned uh, for the other level, unfortunately, because I didn't really pay attention, unfortunately. Um, so I can't really tell you. Let me see if I can Google it quickly. Hmm. I looked on Wowhead, and there's actually nothing between that. So 31, the, you know, it's in MAME at 28. Survival Instincts at 32, and this is all Druid. So this is like showing, you know, all the skills for all of them. I even checked just the, the other one, so... Maybe I didn't get something. Maybe I did. Who knows? You'll check back in the video. Hopefully it says there somewhere and then we can figure it out next time. But uh, anyways, I get to get ready for work and uh, do some measurements and stuff. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, next time we'll be back in... Uh, yeah, we'll be... Oh, yeah, we're going to be doing... Uh, Ash, no, uh, yeah, Ash and Fail, right? That's the next zone we're going to do. So I'll start working on that. I'll finish this daily uh, fishing one, though. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.